Welcome back to KADYTV.com at the Change of Command Ceremony here at uh, Point Magoo. How are you doing, Jim? I'm doing well, thanks. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. So, I mean, this was a very emotional ceremony. I mean, a lot of circumstance and pomp along with it, but, I mean, very emotional in this. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, it, it is very emotional. I, I couldn't really look at my family because that would have, uh, you know, brought on the waterworks. But, uh, you know, 26 years in the Navy, and uh, it's, as I said in my, my talk, my father started his... First, his first duty station was here at Point Magoo in 1955. So, being able to finish my career where he started it is just an honor. That's great. So, we are very happy that you're staying here in Ventura County. I mean, to lose your leadership would be uh, a bad thing for our county. So, what do you have plans in well, mind? We're looking around, talking to different folks. I mean, I, this is a beautiful community. Uh, as I said, I never have I experienced such a supportive community, and there's still a sense of community here in Ventura. Um, and I worked and experienced with great folks and, and great people with that throughout so I'm looking forward to working with the community and keeping this kind of this county moving forward in the right direction well, you've done a great job while you've been here and it's been three years you mentioned that it went so fast it did you know my other previous command tours have been fast too but three years is just it seemed like just last year as I said that I was, was here and a lot of folks think the same way but I've done a lot in those three years and uh, I know that the, for the next three years the leadership in this uh, in this base will continue to be in, in, on the right foot well, you got a lot of awards while you're here and and a couple of them were about in environmental issues so it seems like that that was a big priority for you. It is. Environmental is very important particularly here at Magoo with all the wetlands we have and the coastline and everything uh, but I got a great environmental team that worked it hard and uh, they knew it was one of my priorities and it's a very important thing particularly here in California. Great. Uh, Admiral Friends also mentioned about the Wounded Warriors program. Wounded Warriors, we're the home of the uh, Navy Coast Guard Wounded Warrior Olympic team. Uh, they practice here, they train here, and uh, last year I went to the Warrior Games for the opening ceremonies where they were, and they came back with a bunch of awards, a bunch of medals. That's great. I was out here for the uh, for the surf contest oh, that yeah. they had here. That was really yeah. exciting. Yeah. Beautiful area here at Point Magoo, and I mean, it must have been a privilege to serve out here. Uh, it is. It is a privilege, a beautiful place. You know, I got Magoo, it was Magoo, Wainimi, and San Nicolas Island, yeah. so a wide uh, breadth of different things that we did. Family was really proud of you. I talked to your wife and one of your daughters, and they're very proud of the service that you had to our country. Well, thanks. It's been an honor and, and to be able to serve in this great country of ours. That's great. Captain James McHugh on the Change of uh, Command and Retirement Ceremony here at Point Magoo. Thanks so much. Thank you. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY TV. We're here at Naval Base Ventura County covering the retirement ceremony of Captain James McHugh. And I guess it's the induction of the new captain, Captain Larry Vesquez, to our base. First of all, Captain, welcome to Ventura County. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thank you. It's great to be with you. Well, thanks. Now, I find it interesting as I'm doing some background on you. You come from New York. You actually grew up, I, I forget which borough it was. You went to uh, the City College of New York and then joined the Navy kind of a circuitous route to get out here to Ventura County. Talk to us a little bit about your career. How does a boy from New York decide to end up to join the Navy and serve our country, end up here in Ventura, California? Well, you know, I think uh, General Colin Powell said it best. It's a wonderful country. Uh, I joined the Navy to, to see the world. And, uh, the Navy gave me that opportunity through flight school. And I made numerous deployments. My first tour was in San Diego. And uh, we've, our family and I have really enjoyed California. And uh, we've just chosen to come back here when given the opportunity. Well, we're glad to have you. Now, you're taking over Naval Base Ventura County, one of the most prestigious bases that the United States Navy has. Tell me, what are some of your plans now that you're taking over as the commander? Well, we want to make sure that we're taking care of our sailors first. Uh, so I'm going to be looking to continue some of the policies and procedures that we have in place that does just that. And it also helps the fleet uh, because, again, we are here to support the fleet and make sure that the Navy can carry out its missions. So that'll be my focus initially. And also making sure that the community knows what we do and that we're being good neighbors and good partners. Well, that's good. Now, how long have you been in the area? Have you gotten to know many of the members of the community that you'll be working so closely with? Well, I've really only uh, gotten outside the fence line the last three weeks. My family was here or moved here in the summer. So we do know a little bit about the area, but. Uh, every day it's a, it's a new experience and uh, we're really very, very fortunate to be here. That is great. Now tell us a little bit about your military career. How many years of service do you have with the United States Navy? I've got 24 years now and uh, like Jim said in his speech, it goes very, very fast and uh, every day is just a new and exciting adventure. 
naval aviator. Tell us about your avi aviation career with the United States Navy. Well, I'm a, a helicopter pilot. I've flown uh, Seahawk helicopters both on the East Coast and West Coast, and I uh, primarily uh, fly off of small ships, cruisers, destroyers, and frigates. Our combatants, the backbone of the Navy, and it's uh, been a great career. Well, that sounds wonderful. Now you're making a major change in your career, going from flying to sitting essentially behind a desk. How has that change been for you? Well, it's it's tough, but just having the airfield and airplanes around me uh, will help that transition. But also, I've got a great staff and a great bunch of uh, uh, not only military, but civilian and contractors working here, all in a common goal of helping the fleet. Oh, that is great. Well, welcome to Ventura County. My very special guest has been Captain Larry Vasquez. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. We're at Naval Base Ventura County. We're here to cover the retirement ceremony for James McHugh, who's leaving the Navy after 26 years. And I'm joined by a very distinguished guest. Adm it's Rear Admiral uh, Bill French. Is that right? Did I get the c command correct? It's, it's Vice Admiral. Vice Bill Admiral. French. My apologies to you for that. But thank you so much for being here. You were sort of the, if you will, master of ceremonies for today, which was wonderful. Thank you for flying back from Washington, D.C. Talk to us about the importance of Naval Base Ventura County, what it means to the Navy. We know what it means to our community, but what does it mean to the U.S. Navy? Well, Ventura County is a great place and uh, great support from the community, but it does so many different things here. And I mentioned it during my speech. There's testing that happens here. There's aviation operations that happen here. There's CB operations that happen in Port Wainimi. And when you look at where we are, uh, close, to, close to the ocean, the testing that goes on here, it's a valuable piece of what the Navy needs to do its mission. That is great. Now, Captain McHugh requiring after 26 years in the military. Obviously, you had a chance to serve with him these last three and a half years. Give us your impressions of him as an officer, and now that he's retired going to civilian duty, what do you think he's going to do? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, Jim's been wonderful. I mean, he you can see uh, what he's done with the base, what he's done with the community here. And I think it's testament to how great this community is and the fact that Jim could go live anywhere he wanted to in the world, and he chose to live right here in Ventura County. And I think the last three or four COs of this base decided to stay and retire here. So lots of opportunities. I don't know what he's going to do. I think he's going to take some time to think about it, and I'll tell you, whatever he does do, he'll be super successful at it. Well, I'm happy to hear that. And you mentioned some of the other retired commanders of the base. I was just counting in my head. I saw three retired commanders of the base. Were there more that I just missed? Or? May, may, maybe more, maybe not. I know, I, I think you're right, the last three anyway. Maybe more than the, more than that. That's great. Now, you have a new assignment. You've recently been deployed to Washington, D.C. Tell us about your new duties. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm in Washington. So uh, the job I had before, I was the regional commander here in the Southwest. So I had lots of opportunities to come up here to Ventura County. And now I have a job back in D.C. where I'm responsible for the 70 different bases across the globe. Wow. So to be able to come back out here and leave kind of the frantic uh, activities in D.C. Is a, is a great break. So it's great to be back here home with friends and family in uh, Southern California. Well, we're certainly glad to have you here, but you have an important duty, too, because right now, the, of course, the military is facing cutbacks, and there's all sorts of talk about base closures. It rears its head every time we have to cut back on our budget for the military. What uh, do you foresee uh, in terms of military cutbacks, and how might that impact Naval Base Ventura County? Yeah, those are all great questions. You know, uh, every once in a while, there's there's discussion of another BRAC. Uh, I don't know whether a BRAC's going to come or not. That's a decision that's got to be made through Congress. Um, and I, I think they'll end up making uh, making the right decision, and uh, we'll support uh, the review process that goes through if there's, in fact, a BRAC. Uh, but as I discussed, Ventura County's got a lot of uh, critical things here. I think one of the things that, that makes it so attractive is the fact that uh, we're not encroached. We've got some compatible developments out there, so we can fly our jets out of here and our aircraft out of here and do our testing that we need to without being encroached like you are at some other places. So in addition to that, you got a great community. Well, thank you so much. My special guest has been Vice Admiral Bill French. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. Hey, Bill, thank you very much. Thank you. It's, it's a, a pleasure. pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Take care. Good luck. Hi, this is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV, and I'm here with Harbor Commissioner Mary Ann Rooney from the Harbor Commission. We are on the base of Port Point Magoo, and we're here for the transition of the new change of command here at the base. Mary Ann, it's interesting to me how the harbor and the base have to work so closely together. Describe that working relationship, if you will, please. Well, we share the, the waters that are located out of the Port of Wainimi with the Navy base, and also we have 
have a joint use agreement between the Navy and the Harbor District with one of the wharves out there. So when we want to use it, we work together in a collaborative way, and that's that's how it works. Well, I mean, that's amazing. How long has that relationship been in oh, place? Oh, gosh. That, that relationship with the Navy has been there for a long time. And it's a really powerful relationship, too, because, you know, we all work together. We support the Navy's mission and what they're trying to accomplish, and, and we work in a very collaborative way. So the Port of Wainimi comes in, and cars actually come out on the property, and they go and they process them on the port, um, on the Navy base right there. Oh, that is amazing. We're going to have to cut it short because of the interview. This has been Bill Frank with Marianne Rooney. We'll talk to you soon. Hi, this is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. We're at the retirement ceremony for Captain James McHugh at the Naval Base Ventura County. And I'm joined by Tony Strickland, our Senator. Tony, what did you think of the ceremony today? Uh, I think it, it was a, a great ceremony, uh, honored the family. Uh, as a, my dad was a crew military soldier, and I think it's important to always honor not only the captain, but his family. And I thought it was a wonderful service, and it was an honor to be here. So it was a very touching ceremony, no doubt about that. What does Naval Base Ventura County mean to us here in Ventura County? Uh, it's a huge economic impact for Ventura County. In fact, I'm fighting right now the, the defense cuts that are going back in Washington. I've asked Governor Brown to do uh, a formalization in terms of making sure when the BRACs come out uh, that we protect uh, Naval Base uh, Ventura County because it's a huge impact in uh, Ventura County and it means the world to this economy here in Ventura County and also uh, protects us here at home uh, and all the people who wear our country's uniform uh, to keep us safe abroad. What are some of the impacts, the direct impacts that the base presents to our community? Oh, it's jobs, it's the economy, it's it's uh, it's it's uh, the the fact that uh, they, they bring in aerospace here, and it's a only deep water port between Seattle and San Diego, so it's strategically located here on the Pacific Coast, and it's something that really uh, impacts our, our nation's strength and uh, being able to protect us here at home and abroad. How well did you know Captain McHugh, the retiring base commander? I, I knew the captain pretty well. I mean, we were uh, best friends or anything, but I knew the captain through public events, and I, I wish him and his family nothing but the best. That is great. My guest has been Tony Strickland, our state senator. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. Welcome back to KADYTV.com. Here we are with Karen McHugh, a uh, retiring ceremony today. How do you feel about everything? Oh, it's uh, very emotional. You know, a lot of mixed feelings. This has been an amazing ride uh, in so many ways. Uh, you know, Jim and I go way back to college. That's where we met, you know. So I've been really a part of this Navy family since way back then. Uh, and uh, it's, it's bittersweet to see it end. You know, so many wonderful experiences, uh, family, fr you know, the friends that we've met along the way, which, you know, will be fr lifelong friends. Um, but it's exciting also to move on to wh whatever the next phase will be. It, it must be very exciting. I mean, the change of command, there must be some sadness in leaving, but yet for what the future holds for you. So Jim talked about, you know, he's staying in the area, which we're glad to see that. Um, does he have any idea what he wants to pursue? I think he is open to any opportunity that his background and leadership experience will, will lend itself to. Um, you know, the number of different people that he's talking to, but you know, nothing firm yet. You know, but I am confident that whoever gets it will be very lucky to have him. Yeah, I agree with you totally. And um, he gave you a lot of kudos today in his talk and about how you were juggling mom, job, Navy wife, and everything. So what do you think is the best skill that you have that allowed you to do all that? Oh, boy. Um, I don't know as though it's a, a skill per se. I think any Navy wife will tell you, you do it because you have to. Um, you, you know what you're getting into, I think, for the most part, when you, when you marry into it and you accept it. And you do what you have to do to get through the family separations and the deployments and, and whatnot. Um, I think flexibility helps a lot being flexible, being adaptable, being able to go with the flow because you just never know what's going to get thrown at you. And uh, patience. After the 26 years that you've been in the Navy family, um, where were some of the most uh, wonderful places that you enjoyed living? Oh, wow. That's hard. Um, you know, the beauty, I think, of being in the Navy is that most any place you go is going to be pretty darn nice. Um, Somebody asked me the other day if I had a favorite location. I don't really know that I do because every place we've been, there's been very something special and unique about it. Uh, this is our third time in this area, uh, and I think for that reason it feels very much like home. 
Uh, the girls have their, you know, their schools here, their friends here, all their different sporting activities here, uh, and it just it feels like the right place to be, and that's why we're thrilled to be staying. But as I said, every place we've been, there's been something special about each one. I can't really say if I have a favorite. That would, that would be of course, favorite. Ventura County is the is the most favorite one. <laughs> it feels like home. It's home. Well, we're glad that you're staying yeah. here, and thanks so much for being here at uh, Point Magoo on the Change of Command Day with Karen McHugh. This is Bill Frank, I'm reporting for KADY TV. We're at the retirement ceremony for Captain James McHugh from the Navy. We're on Naval Base Ventura County, and I'm joined by a very special guest, Jess Herrera. Jess, th what did you think of today's ceremony? I think it was a great ceremony. It was well deserved by Captain McHugh. As a Harbor Commissioner in the Port of Wainimi, we've worked very closely with the Navy. We really honor the work that they do and, and the commitment they have to our nation, and we're very proud to serve next to them. Talk to us about the relationship between the U.S. Navy and the Harbor Commission because it's a unique one. It is, and it's one that goes back to uh, actually the birth of the Port of Wainimi back to 1942, the First World War, and ever since then uh, we've been uh, heavily involved with the Navy in every deployment and providing, uh, uh, of course, uh, munitions and everything else to, to the men in the Pacific. So we also have a joint use agreement with the United States Navy that's a very good agreement it uh, strengthens our military in time of peace and it also provides economic development for our community and how many other joint use uh, agreements are there with the Navy similar to that of, of, of ours I think I think ours is the only public-private partnership that I that I know that's in existence right now with the United States Navy and we're very proud of that it was uh, authorized in the Defense Authorization Act of 1994 and uh, it's been going strong ever since then. That is great. Now, you mentioned you're on the Harbor Commission. Talk to us about your years of public service. Wow, I've been very proud to be a Harbor Commissioner at the Port of Wainimi. Uh, economic development has been a great passion of mine. Uh, creating jobs, keeping world-class customers interested in doing business in our port is, is the number one concern that I have. Looking outside the district also to bring in new, uh, new opportunities is also something that I'm working on very hard right now. That is great. Now, how well do you know Captain McHugh? Well, you know, as I say, we work with Captain McHugh, and right now I just gave him uh, my thanks for his service to our country and to this, and to this uh, great area here in Ventura County. And uh, he's just been wonderful to work with, and he's been very accessible. Great guy. That's great. My guest has been uh, Jess Herrera. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. Hi, this is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. We're here at the retirement ceremony for Captain James McHugh from Naval Station, Naval Base Ventura County, and I'm joined by Linda Parks, who is going to was here at the ceremony. Linda, it was great to see you here. What did you think of the naval pomp and circumstances that we saw at this retirement ceremony? It was an honor to be here. It was a beautiful ceremony and uh, very meaningful. And I love the way they incorporated his family into it and kind of ended with a kiss to his wife. You know, that was all very nice. But I have a lot of respect for the captain, and I I know we get the cream of the crop here in Ventura County and when they retire you know they can go on to other careers here so I'm looking forward to see what he's going to do next. Well what a testament to us here in Ventura County that Captain McHugh has chosen to stay here in Ventura County. To what do you attribute that that honor? We have one of the best quality of life so anywhere. As a matter of fact one of the uh, our head of our um, general service agency at the county was a former captain of the base here so we're, we're really lucky to have them and they stay and and get into our workforce, and they are the cream of the crop. So it's Without nice to a have. doubt. Now, your work on the, uh, the, the at the council level is very important. Talk to us about the importance that you play in keeping the base secure, keeping the base uh, safe. Well, you know, one of the things that he brought in is a lot of land use forums, and one of the main emphasis is to make sure that we have a buffer around the base, and they call it the military influence area. And he really made it well known throughout the county how important it is that we protect that buffer area. We have farmland around it, don't have development encroaching it, so that they can continue with their exercises, really important exercises in terms of being able to use the uh, flight paths. That is important. Linda, thank you so All right, much. Thank you very this is much. Bill Frank reporting for KADY TV. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. We're here at Naval Base Ventura County covering the retirement ceremony of Captain James McHugh. And I'm joined right now by Doug Brees, mayor of the city of Port Wainimi. It's Hi, a pleasure to have you here, Mr. Hi, mayor. How are you? Pleasure to be here. Well, glad to have you here. Now, I want to talk to you about a couple of things. First of all, Naval Base Ventura County here at Point Magoo and in Point Wainimi. How important are they to the city of Port Wainimi? Well, Navy Base Ventura County is vital to the city of Port Wainimi. We have a long history. Uh, the city is 50 years old and um, it coincides uh, 
pretty much with the formation of the Navy base uh, located within the city limits of Port Wyneme, the CB base. I don't know if you're aware, but the CB base is one of very few Navy bases or military bases that are within the city limits. No, I did not All, know that. Yeah, most of them are you know, outside the city limits. So the city of Port Wyneme has a close working relationship with Naval Base Ventura County and uh, we enjoy have, having the sailors as part of our community. Well, that, that is great. Now, yeah. here at the retirement ceremony, it was quite a moving ceremony. What were your impressions of the pomp and the circumstance? Well, uh, I have, uh, I served in the Navy for 11 years. I joined the Navy when I was 17. My, I was 17 and a half. My dad had to sign to get me in. And so I still live today by the values that I learned growing up in the Navy. So um, uh, honor, for, honor of tradition is one of those values that I hold dear. And of course, this ceremony today had a lot of tradition in it. It was very rich. Yeah, and uh, I, I enjoyed it very much. I thought it was very moving that they honored the family of Captain McHugh equally yes. as the captain yes. himself. That's, that's correct. Well, let me ask you, how well did you know Captain, do you know Captain McHugh? Well, um, well I was at uh, the ceremony three years ago when he became base commander, and I've known him ever since and worked clo closely with him on a number of uh, projects and a number of issues. Uh, I attended the uh, community development uh, seminars that the Navy held, uh, which was uh, designed to help the, the the military and the civilian cities located around the military bases to communicate and coordinate uh, relative to development in the area and uh, partner with projects that benefit both the military bases and the local community. So I've, I've worked with Captain McHugh for, for the past three years and have enjoyed it very much. Now that is wonderful. Now what does it mean to you and what does it mean to the city of Port Wyneme that Captain McHugh, upon retiring, is going to stay in the area? I think it's wonderful. You know, I, I've, I've always said, people come to Port Wyneme and then they don't leave. <laughs> that is great. That, my guest has been Mayor Doug Breeze of the city of Port Wyneme. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV. Thank you, Bill. Back on KADY-TV.com with Abby McHugh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? So this was a really um, interesting day. I mean, it seems like it might be a little bit of a mixture of happiness and sadness at the same time, right? Yeah, it's more of a happy time because it's like, my dad that represented our country and did a lot of good things and we were, we're really proud of him. You know, I mean, not all daughters get to say that their dad, you know, led a Navy command and everything. It, it was pretty emotional and you must be really proud of your dad. I am very proud of my dad. I love him a lot. Yeah, that's good. So, um, next steps, I mean, do you have any ideas? I mean, he's going to be home a lot more, yes? That's going to be, a, like, hard because, like, it's going to be really different. Because he's going to be home, and usually he's out working and doing his job, and he needs, like, he's making good progress finding a job. That's great. So do you have any lists for him to do and have him accompany you to different places or things? No. No. Nope. He could be the new shuttle driver. Oh, the new shuttle driver. Okay, yeah, good. So mom gets to retire and dad gets to take over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, great. Um, uh, I asked your mom the question about where of all the places that you've been that you like the most. Did you have a favorite? Here. Here. Yeah. Because well. I, um, when I moved here, I already had like a lot of good friends here, and so I got to come back to them and see them, and now I get to stay here with them. So that's fun. So, do you have any aspirations of going into the Navy or military service? No. <laughs> I want to be a professional soccer player. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh. All right. So hopefully in a few years we'll be tracking Abby on the uh, professional soccer tournament here on KADYTV.com at the change of command. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADYTV. We're at the retirement ceremony for Captain James McHugh, and I'm joined by Councilman Tim Flynn. Councilman, what did you think of today's ceremony? Well, it's the second uh, change of command ceremony that I've had the opportunity to attend. And uh, boy, it, it, I have regrets that I didn't join the Navy and or the military. So when you go through a ceremony like that, uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing and it really does make you 
think about the commitment that the people here, that the men and women have to the country, and um, I wish everybody can go through that experience. It was a moving ceremony. What I liked about the ceremony was that it honored equally Captain McHugh for his years of service and his family. Talk to us about the importance of the family support in the military unit like that. Well, I know just from uh, being in a public office that um, if you don't have your family behind you in what you're doing, basically you can't function. And so when those awards were given to Captain McHugh's wife and his children, uh, really uh, it's, it's amazing the role that a family plays. And I can't imagine uh, what it would be like when uh, a dad or a mom goes away on a deployment for six months and uh, that one parent has to, has to do all the work. And I can't imagine how they get through that. So I have a lot of respect for families in the military, like Captain McHugh's family, that make enormous sacrifices. And indeed, uh, I, I know that many people feel that same way, but more than anything else, it's he's done his duty, he's done 26 years, and now one knows that uh, he's gonna be able to hopefully spend a lot more time with his family now that he's out of the military. Well, what a testament to us here in Ventura County that Captain McHugh and his family have decided to stay here. Talk to us, what does that mean to you as a elected official here in Ventura County? Well, first of all, I'm a little bit biased, of course, towards Oxnard, but I realize that people come to Ventura County primarily because of the weather and it's so beautiful here. And Captain McHugh told me, because uh, I had a good, I had many opportunities to work with him prior to his retirement, that he would be staying here in Ventura County. And, uh, you know, I, I understand. I understand why. And he's been here three times, and he was able to uh, retire where his dad started out. And so I think that he, he sees a real connection with the community, and uh, he's just, you know, he's made a great decision to stay here. So Well, we're glad to have him. Tim, what does the Naval Base mean to Ventura County and into Oxnard, to Oxnard in particular? Well, um, I don't think anything I can say really can express in words what this base means to the people here in this community. Um, everyone knows uh, a lot of figures have been thrown around that close to two billion dollars a year uh, is generated as a result of this, uh, this facility here. And many of the people I grew up with, many of the people I went to school with, uh, their dads in particular or their grandparents had come, their grandfathers had come here to Oxnard or Port Wainimi or Camarillo because of the Navy. And so um, this, this facility and uh, the port uh, is uh, not just an integral part of Ventura County. Uh, one could say without it, uh, you know, one would question what would happen to the identity of Ventura County because it's, we are, we're welded together. That's the bottom line. My guest has been Councilman Tim Flynn of Oxnard. This is Bill Frank for KADY TV. Thank you very much. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY TV. We're here covering the retirement ceremony of Captain James McHugh from the United States Navy here at Naval Base Ventura County. And I'm joined by Ventura Councilman Peter Foy. Peter, how are you? I'm doing wonderful. Good, good. Yeah. And what did you think of today's ceremony? Well, you know, the pomp and circumstance of these ceremonies are just something special. And, and when you see what the Navy has done and the leadership and the rise of these uh, commanders, it's it's just, you know, makes you feel proud of America and, and proud of what we've got here in Ventura County. It's just tremendous. It really does. And now what does Naval Base Ventura County mean to Ventura County? Well, besides, uh, you know, just having something special like this, you know, and it's in, in an area where so much is done, it, economically it means tremendous amount, but we've all of a sudden, we get tremendous people that come out of the Navy that stay in our community and, and add value to all the organizations and their families and everything else here. So it is a real valuable asset that we have and it's something special that we have here. Well, I'm glad you mentioned that because Captain McHugh has said that he will stay in the area. What does that what does that say about our community? Well, it is. I mean, think about these people. They travel all over the world. They've got all these great opportunities, somebody at his rank and his abilities, and he wants to stay here. I mean, that just goes to show what we've got to offer, and we want those kind of people. We've had the opportunity in our own county. We've had a, uh, Paul Grossgold, the former commander that was working with us now, done tremendous work, tremendous job for us, and we look forward to having uh, Jim here in this community for a long, long time. That is great. My special guest has been Count, uh, Ventura Council uh, Peter Foy. This is Bill Frank reporting for KADY-TV.